Uh. Welcome, dear viewers, to a new episode of Dialogue Horizon. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate the Muslims in the Sudan and different parts of the globe on the occasion of Ramadan. The, this is the second day of Ramadan. I hope that everybody will be in good health and, and big wealth later. Uh, thank you very much, dear viewers, to be with us in this episode. It will also be a continuation to what we covered the last two, three weeks about the present turmoil or deadlock or impasse which is threatening the, 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 the coherence and the safety and security of our beloved country. Uh, that's why we are always happy to host our friend who is specialized mainly in conflict and resolution of conflict, our Professor Manzul, Abdullah Manzul. He is a professor in the University of Khartoum, as uh, we told you before. And he used to be the uh, director of the Peace Research Institute of University of Khartoum. And he's very much concerned in the peace and research and conflict resolution in different parts of the globe with affiliation to many different, different global uh, institutions working in the same area. Welcome. Dear Professor Abdul Abdullah Manzul. Thank you, Omar, and I wish our uh, viewers a blessed Ramadan. Thank you very much. First, as, 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 we, as we started, we covered last week also, we have still the, the situation is still, still, that is still uh, in the same, remain in the same state, the same stalemate is not yet resolved, and nothing appears in the horizon, appears in the, although, that's what my first question about some, some, I call it some uh, sentimental or emotional dates were put mm -hmm. to touch the emotions of me. But anyhow, we'll cover this, the dates which the three dates put for the, for the whole resolution of the, the, the. So last yeah. week, the beginning of last week, the president of the Supreme Council and the army commander and his deputy, commander of the rapid support forces, they jointly held a meeting with the uh, framework, framework uh, members of, of the Freedom and Forces, the council, Central Council, and after that also, the, 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 after one day, the, the deputy, the uh, MET, also held another meeting with similar people, but not those who signed the, 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 the framework agreement. And they all reached, and it was announced that by the spokesman of the framework uh, activities, uh, saying that they finally agreed to and assigned, assigned the 1st of April as the date uh, of, 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 of signing the final agreement. The 6th of April is the constitutional document or constitution, traditional constitution. On the 11th, the formation of the government. My question is that it seems that from, from, from the dates, as, as I started, something emotional, because when you talk about 1st of April, it means a lot to the revolutionaries. 6th of April is the date of the, the, the uh, sit-in, and 11th October is the takeover on the hosting of the regime. So they put the, the, the emphasize, the concentrated on picking, this is my opinion, picking, picking very emotional, death, sentimental dates, whereas it should have been done according to the task and to the, what is remaining, because they might fail to, to meet the, the, these dates. Anyhow, this is my opinion. Well, How can you assess? Well, this? I think first, first uh, I, uh, I am still a bit optimistic and I don't see things as stalled as they used to be mm. before the uh, meetings that you mentioned. Uh, yes, there were a couple of meetings where uh, the signatories to the framework agreement, including the military component, reiterated their commitment to the process and they appeared uh, to be determined to, to reach the final political settlement. Uh, and yes, I put uh, some dates, and to me, uh, this is uh, too optimistic. It's highly unlikely that they would be able to meet these deadlines, the 1st of April, and the 6th of April, and the 11th of April. Uh, uh, yes, we saw that a committee has already been formed yes. to uh, 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 work out the details of the 
political declaration that's going to be signed. The committee has already started meeting. I think they met yesterday uh, in, the, in, uh, in, the, in the morning, and then they had another meeting in the evening. I, I, and I, I assume that today they also held the morning meeting, and they will help. Uh, they will they will hold the, another uh, meeting during the evening. That's what what they said in the statement that followed the meeting which was held yesterday. Uh, so things are moving, uh, 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 and uh, eventually, an agreement will be signed. There's no there's no doubt about this. Whether the the, the those who still oppose the process. Uh, continue to oppose it or, or join or not, there will be a political settlement. This is something that is now being s settled. There's really? no... Uh, 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 you no know, waiting for no, any other no, to join. No, 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 no. They will, they will reach a settlement. Whether they will reach that uh, on the 1st of April or the 6th of April, that's, a, that's another question. But the political settlement is on the horizon. Yeah. And now the problem is not only uh, signing the political settlement, which is going to happen anyway, the problem is how to select the prime minister and the cabinet. That is going to be no the key problem because as we speak, we don't know any criteria that was developed as to how they could pick the PM and how the PM could pick his, his cabinet members. All these issues are not settled. People are still wrangling whether they would have a, a, a technocrat as cabinet members or whether uh, uh, the PM and his cabinet could be uh, coming from political parties. All these issues are not settled yet. And okay. I think this is one of the things that would complicate the, for the formation of the, of the civilian the government. If you, if, you, if you are about to reach a political settlement and you're not clear whether the government is going to be uh, made up of uh, technocrats or, of, or, or, or politicians, and you don't know the criteria of, of selecting the prime minister and, and, the, and his members. Mm -hmm. And you are also not uh, in agreement as to who should have the right to nominate or choose a prime minister. All these are very sticky and difficult questions. And I said, we don't have an answer for them. So yes, they put dates. They formed a committee. The committee already started meetings. But I, I have my doubts that they would. They meet the date. I, I doubt very much. But because time prof is running fast. Professor, it seems that, that from what you said, from what uh, I'm following, is that see, what, is, what is really seriously jeopardizing or impeding the process is some vested interest of <coughs> civilians and military. Both of the, each, each of them, but they don't want to say it. Civilians, in my mind, the small parties, the parties of the Austin, the, 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 the dissolved government by, by, by Borhan on the 25th, of October, they want to repeat the same scenario. The four parties, small parties, with the armed struggle uh, leaders, the same, the same, the same. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is what it seems like it, it seems is, like, yes. you know? And again, as I just mentioned, as yet, we are not certain whether we will have a government that's made up of technocrats or whether we have a cabinet that's made up of politicians. Unfortunately, the FFC people especially the, the political parties like the UMA, the Congress Party, and others. They're not very clear about this point at all. They have been dodging it. They have never provided a very clear-cut answer for this question. They don't want to, they deliberately do And this they. gives the, the, you know, the ordinary citizen the impression that these people are all about getting positions. And this way, they are going to repeat the same mistakes. Same that BC, the, the previous government. Of course, the military leaders are also, I, I don't think any sane person would put aside the fact that they are interested to continue in power. There's no question about these issues. So, uh, uh, and this is also part of why we have this lengthy delay in arriving at a settlement that would pave the way for having a civilian government. So this is very serious. This 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 best interest of both the other best interest of the army. The army, yes, they are sure they are they are they are they are they are, they, they were they were they will go back to barracks. They are not interested. They had enough of the headache of this. Uh, but still, they are they are not happy with the counterpart of the framework agreement. They are pushed by the international community to accept things which. They don't believe in it or they're not convincing to them. That's why they are foot dragging and they are happy 
to have this 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 uh, delay is well they have to pay for it because this is this is this is the price of having a, a military coup yeah. you know yeah. you you made a, you make a military coup you complicate the political process and and, and, and and there is a price for this and unfortunately the country is paying the price the country the country is paying the it's price paying the people the are price. paying the price the economy is going down sure we are uh, back again into the evil you know uh, circle of you know isolation and all of that and maybe eventually they they or, or finally they realize that this situation cannot continue forever and that's why they started talking about being very clear being very sincere in having a civil government okay let's go to the other side from the other side prophet Mansour. the other side now they start, as if they as if they felt what you feel what you said just now that anyway agree an agreement will be signed whether the set dates the three dates or but very soon a government will be formed and tradition will start because they started to read the slogans of taking to the streets i read today that the democratic bloc which if they have uh, sizable uh, followers or, or supporters they said they will they will never allow the government the tragic government especially if it is of the four parties which were which was which was dissolved so to what do you think this group might impede or hurdle put hurdles to the to the transition to general elections well i don't think they will be successful because we have seen this uh, type of statements and even actions over the past couple mm -hmm. of years and they're not effective I, I i doubt the ability of those people of the democratic bloc to mobilize. organize or mobilize the street in, in in such a way that would disrupt the 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 function of the government i i doubt very much you know yeah. uh, 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 and but uh, at the end of the day it's their right they have the right to they have the right they to oppose they have the right to organize peacefully let them do it do you think that they have from their membership the bloc do have some who are who are who are really they deserve to be on board of the framework uh, agreement well by virtue of, of of the yuba peace agreement you have the justice and equality movement and slm in Naui. they are they are going to be part of the government and this is actually one of the very puzzling uh, facts they are by 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 by, by the terms of Yuba peace any agreement, government they will be part of it political or part uh, whether whether in the parliament or in the executive they will be part of it mm. and that is one of the very puzzling uh, things for me you cannot oppose a government of which you are going to be a part you know mm. and it would really be very strange if jem and slm minawi oppose the government while they are part of it you see what they did this happened during the second hamdo government yes and eventually that led to the military coup the military coup yes which complicated the situation yes so while they accuse ffc1 to repeat the same mistakes they're also uh, repeating the same horrible mistakes you know yes and again this makes me say that much of the wrangling between the democratic bloc and the ffc1 is subjective it's not objective it's about personal issues it's about egos because frankly i don't see an objective disagreement between these two blocks but, but the problem the only problem the problem which we witnessed yes i know that they are not able to, to mobilize the trees as, as, as the, the, the revolution they, they they because they were they were they were coached by by well organized and experienced parties like the communist party and Ba'ath party this they failed even they failed many times even the sitting around the palace they failed to to to, to make a pressure but the problem is that the backing of the the the, the clandestine actually the, 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 the hidden backing of the military component to these people military component is so it happened well remember? they would be shooting their feet if 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 they if they continue to do this to sabotage the, you, you see Omar this this has happened during the second hamdo yes because there were very obvious accusations to the military component that they were sabotaging the government from within yeah and I, it would be very strange and and, 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 and and unbecoming if they continue to do the same for the coming government because this will create problems for for themselves 
from the international community? Absolutely. So uh, I think, I think, and again, I think in the in the last episode we said that the possibility for this political deal to go forward and succeed depends mainly on the sincerity and the political will of the signatories, including the military component. So if they are going to sign a, a settlement that they are going to sabotage from within, why are they going to sign it from the beginning? Because they are doing their hand, they are uh, on twisted hand. I well, agree. That, that some, some people, they say that the, the delegation, because they are definitely, and I know personally, some of the members of the military component are fully, fully part and parcel of, 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 of the, the other, of this block, which is in turn blocked to the OSCE regime. There are still, there are still, so they cannot say it, but they just like, like they close one eye when, when, when the East road is blocked, for example, mm. or when the North uh, lifeline is blocked. They, they will be shooting their feet. They will be shooting their feet. Absolutely, absolutely. So, the, so the, the, the pressure, it will tend, the external pressure will tend to something. Well, I, I, I still hope, I still hope that all the statements that come from the different signatories of the agreement, the civilians and the military, are sincere, and that they are genuine in what they say in moving forward, having a civilian -led government, and that the, the, the military is absolutely out of, uh, of, of politics, and we move forward to this country, you know, to have a smooth transition, to start the process of uh, security sector reform, the process of transition justice, so that th these things start rolling. They will not be finished during the transition, they will go beyond the transition, but at least let us start them so that we have a we basis. Have basic, exactly. Right? We okay. base on that and we move forward. Okay, some people they talk just in case, just in case if the dates, the three dates of the April dates, the very week of April, these three dates, but if it did not, it didn't work and failed. Some people are talking about a caretaker government. Now this, this the, the situation now, we are in a caretaker Absolutely. government. Absolutely. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. What, what There's no point. There's no point in appointing a caretaker government. Is because it, it is there because we have a, a caretaker government since October 25th. Yes, yes. 2021. Yeah. So, so there's no point. No point. There is no, no point. point. I yeah. see no, no point. Why no. people? No. Even if even if the political process is delayed, even if they fail to meet the deadline, I think the process should continue, so that they they have an agreement and, uh, and form a, a government that is legitimate by yes. by the terms of the by agreement. Same, same. But but if no 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 need to, the terms should go for other option. No. Which is already prevailing. Which is the the, the, the caretaker government is doing the. It, it's According, it is doing well. It is doing as long as the, what is available to their in their hands. They are they are they, they, they are they are the top civil service uh, people. Actually, they are all they are running the show. That's right. For in, in all different regimes, not True. the ministers. True. So this is a caretaker government. It is. It is. So it no is. point to talk There's about. No point to talk about another, 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 another another solution. Yeah. No, no, it can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. Okay. Some people they talk when 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 they, they when they talk about about uh, parties. It seems from from what you said that you are not for uh, repeating the same mistake of only four parties or political parties. But what is really mixing the thing is the Juba agreement. That's what I listen because. The fairest government, the, 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 the reason for the inclusion of the, the four parties in the second government, that because as long as Jibril uh, and Manawi and other, uh, the, 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 according to new agreement, they, they are going to join the government, why not? Yeah, you uh, see, that is, that is what we have been repeating all the time, that the, 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 the liberal peace framework is a big failure. It's failed many times before, and it will not succeed at all. I am completely against giving uh, exeribles political positions. Mm -hmm. This should have, should have never been actually allowed in the agreement. People should talk about issues. About now, issues. now, let us look at the example of the FARC in Colombia. Mm. Let us look at what happened in the Tigray region. When the government reaches an agreement with them, there are no positions. Yes. There are issues. And this should be, and actually, 
al hilu and abdul wahid are exactly saying this that peace should not be about getting positions in the center or in the region exactly. it's about yeah. issues yeah and this is one of the mistakes that was repeated you know it was in the cba it was in abuja it was in the eastern Olympics agreement it was in doha and it was repeated in juba juba shouldn't have been like this we know we know and you really shouldn't have gotten positions in the government she didn't have no mm. it it should have been about issues and if if it were about issues we wouldn't have been in in this mess that we are now you're right you're right you see yes and now they're clinging into their positions it's difficult to take them from it now well the, 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 there is an agreement and it's there. agreement it's there and that's why i said at the beginning of the episode that they are going to be part of whatever government that's before and this is very puzzling they know damn well that they are going to be part of the government and they are opposing it yes and this is exactly what they did for the second hamdo government because they were part of it and they were opposing it because they sided with the military when they uh, you know went to the sit in in front of the of the, of the palace and, and and the military coup took place they, are, they they never learn from the mistakes they are not learning from no, the mistakes unfortunately. no unfortunately and and now uh, retrospectively when i look at the peace agreement i see it as a big mistake the way it was conducted the, especially this part it was, of especially the part of power sharing. power sharing it was a terrible mistake should not have been done it that. shouldn't have been done like that at all if they insist on having power positions let them continue fighting yes that's that's, that's very clear now because things are now worse than, fi than the fighting that the, the, the country the whole country is at stake this day is at stake nobody knows exactly what will happen tomorrow yeah because well, of this now the problem is that we are in in, in the middle of uh, of an agreement that has to be implemented an agreement that is supported by the international community and we have to deal with this yeah now the real question is how are we going to move forward with this we saw the two workshops that took place one in Khartoum and the other in Juba both workshops emphasized that the, the agreement should be part and parcel of any political settlement yes. there, there's no doubt about that no you doubt see? so and, 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 and for this reason I really fail to see the points or to be convinced by the positions taken by Jem and SLM now. They really don't make any sense. They make no sense? No, they don't. And I kept saying this all the time, that you are here by virtue of Jewish agreement that has clearly stated the kind of positions you are going to have, the kind of financial obligations and liabilities, and all, all of that. Well, of course, much of this didn't take place, but at least the part of power sharing was done. And you are here by virtue of that. Yes, it's very bad. So, yeah. what is the point? Power sharing. Now, did it take us to this? Bus. Okay, we have another mid 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 issue because you have this episode is in Ramadan, a little bit short. We have the people that are talking, the military that are talking about the framework agreement. It, it, it clearly stated that there should be one army. The rapid support force should be integrated, although it is part, it is an army, not militia. It is a, an army which is formed by a, a law, part of the mil military uh, composition of the country. So some people are talking about the integration. The army top brass, Burhan and uh, the others, they are also worried about the uh, rapid support force. They want to integrate it, especially after the leader of the Rapid Support Force, uh, Dagalu Hamihameti, took side with the revolutionaries in the framework agreement, and he's now fully supporting this agreement. So it, it, as if became on the other side of the Yeah, but the, the, so, the army is also part of the framework agreement. Yeah. Buran signed it. Okay, but what, so what's what, the point? Why, why, why they are mentioning it to the civilians like us? It is a highly technical process. I know. Why, I why know. You know, the whole thing, the whole set, set, set up is really very strange. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because the army, represented by the chairman of the Southern Council and the Commander-in-Chief, yeah. was signed to the, to the agreement. 
He met you as soon as the final agreement. Yeah. And in that agreement, it was very clearly mentioned that there would be integration of the Arab Support Forces and that we will have one professional army. So who is the problem? No problem. Why are they so mentioning it? Why are they mentioning it? It's the civilian, civilian rallies. In the civilian rallies, they mentioned this. It's not, this is not it doesn't make any sense. No you know? sense. It doesn't make any sense. But, you know, I, one, one good thing is that the, the, the two leaders met eventually. Mm. And as, as far as I can see, they seem to have put this on their back, and now they're moving forward. They're saying that we are vehemently in support of the agreement, and we are moving forward. So this is a good development for us. It's a good development. And now they are also talking about starting the uh, security sector reform a workshop, which is the final and the yeah. last one. It was supposed to, to start on Thursday, but they postponed it for further consultation. That's what, what transpired in the media. In the media, okay. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's going to take place. Going to take place. Uh, they might be a lot of issues, and uh, for sure they will be. But I think they can. How long will the integration? Just to figure. How long will it take? Well, will I, take? I, I I saw that the army would like to see the integration takes place within three years. Three years. Yeah. Full integration. Yeah. The Arab support forces want it to be a longer. Uh, but I think this is a process that is not going to take place in a short time. It definitely will not be completed the during the transition. The, the no. Okay. No way. No way. It will take time. But at least let us start it and then uh, work uh, hard and sincere for that. And I think we'll be there. Okay. Yeah. We, have, we have four minutes, Professor Tkaitarat, about the outcome of the, the workshop of the transitional justice. People, they want to know exactly the findings of transitional justice uh, workshop uh, of, 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 of uh, which is something uh, known uh, that nobody should 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 be free from accountability. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw the the communique uh, or the statement that followed the thing. I think there were like 15 recommendations, yeah. and all of these recommendations emphasized uh, 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 that there should be no impunity at all mm -hmm. for crimes uh, committed, and that uh, everyone who committed a crime should be uh, held responsible. And that amnesty can only come from the victims. No one has the right to give somebody amnesty yes. uh, if, if, if this doesn't come from the victims or their families. And also that uh, 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 crimes will not go unnoticed or, you know, just disappear like that. Is, is it cover, is the whole issue, is covering, covering what period? The traditional justice? to look for atrocities or killings or uh, crimes done, perpetrated on the, after the revolution or uh, uh, have an idea, I don't I know. I think, I think they, this goes even way back. Way back. Yeah, not only during the transition, definitely the, 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 those uh, that back happened Back to, to, to the uh, September, maybe 20, uh, yeah, the yeah, 2013. Yeah, that's right, that's right. The start of the Probably even, even, even before that, uh -huh. because they talk about uh, unconditional cooperation with the ICC. Apprehension uh, and... And this, yeah, and this includes the, uh, you know, atrocities that happened uh, way back. So, but all in all, I think the statement was, to me at least, it was clear, it was good. And the good thing about the workshops is that they first took place uh, in the regions, in the states. Yes. And even in, uh, in, the, in the northern uh, state, in Adbara and in Kasala, they didn't uh, allow them, but they brought people from those states to Khartoum. Okay. So people's voices were heard. So uh, all the states were represented here? All the states were represented. And, and, and the, the thing came from uh, bottom up. Uh, which Instead is, which of having is, only is, one uh, in Khartoum, they started uh, at the level of states, and then they concluded uh, the, the, the big one in Khartoum. Does the recommendation include com formation of commission? Oh, yeah, of course. Commission. Absolutely. To look after there was this. a recommendation about forming a com an independent commission. Indep independent Independent commission. commission. To, be, uh, to look into yeah, these crimes. to look into these uh, different atrocities that took place. Okay, Professor, thank you very much. I think this is a short, a short episode because of Ramadan, because we want to be a little bit light to people, although they, they saw it, they see it in after breakfast. Anyhow, thank you for being with us. We hope to continue next week. We hope to have some positive developments. Thank you, dear viewers, for being with us in the last half an hour. Uh, we hope to see you next week. 
in uh, another uh, episode of Dialogue Horizon. Bye.